I'm going to hit record here. Um, so I don't know about you two, but um, just talking about um, our chapter seven this morning and, um, you know, all about, hey, decision, right? Decision, the seven step to riches. And I think I mentioned you guys that I always giggle a little bit every time I'm I'm in a discussion about deciding because I realize how much um, how much I need or I am growing in deciding and I laugh because decide is my action hour, right? So it's like I'm supposed to be this expert on decide, yet everywhere I turn, I'm learning more and more about um, growing in decisions. So here comes Foxy, so we're going to let her in. Um, and so this whole idea this morning of how do, what type of decision maker are you and knowing that was really enlightening to me. And so, hey, Foxy, we are so glad to have you here. We're masterminding on decision making and what types of, how, if, what do we know about our own decision making, um, process or approach? Um, and there was a little bit of discussion on this this morning in our Think and Grow Rich Mastermind. And so I'm going to start with maybe to see if Becky or Brenda would like to describe what they know about their decision making approach right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, we, we were talking this morning about like how we get in the water was kind of like where it came from. But um, I, I'm someone that doesn't like need to tip tip my toe in to feel the temperature before I decide to go in or how long it's going to take me to get in, I just start going. And then, you know, it doesn't take me long to dunk my head under the water to just be fully underwater and good to go. So um, that's kind of how I found out that I, I'm a quick decision maker. Like I, if, if I am stalling on decision making, I'm actually in procrastination because I'm pretty quick to make decisions. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And, and then you do it and you go and, and then, but listen to where you started today with your, your, um, what you're going to work on, um, that you have this website, right? So there's a decision there. I'm curious what's the difference between that decision and the one you were just talking about with like getting, getting right in the water. Do you notice when you don't get right in the water, what type of what's causing that? I, I'm not sure if I know what's causing that because I just found it this morning, but um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, good thing to reflect on maybe I love that. Absolutely. Oh. Might, be, might be what I'm putting in the healthy headspace today. Ooh, good. Yeah. Brenda, how about you when you think of your approach to decisions? What? Well, depending upon what needs to be decided, um, but for this part, I will use my, my vehicle purchase as an example. So currently there's not a lot of selection and I'm like, okay, I have some resources that I can reach out to, but some of those things will take a little bit of time to see if something comes through. So when you're looking for a vehicle that comes through on the auction um, block, it only happens once a week, right? So if it's not there on the first week, you gotta wait. So I gave them a deadline and I have some other ones selected and when that deadline approaches if the one that they're looking for on the auction doesn't appear then i know in my heart which one i'm going to go with when it's still available in the other slot um and you know ultimately if they know the criteria so if the same thing comes through on the auction um but better miles because that's the only thing that is holding up the purchase mm. so i love 
So I'm hearing you're very clear on your decision and the criteria that is associated with it. And then you put the boundaries in place and how, and you're, you're comfortable with whatever way it goes because you've put the criteria in place that serve you. Right. Yeah. So like, I feel like, okay, um, just don't get this one. But if in this time frame, if the other one appears and I attracted it to come in, it will be there. Yeah. And rightfully so for the other one, the other one will still be there if I'm supposed to have it. Oh gosh. Woohoo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That could be like that's a brand new approach for me. Like I love that though. So, so it's a good, yeah. Okay. So we're past 10 after. So, um, Foxy, do you want to share? I'm going to stop recording here.